Hey, teacher friend, I'm so glad you're here today because we're going to talk about my past year and kind of reflect on my favorite moments in the classroom. And I hope that you'll share some of yours in the comments below because I love reading what went well for you and what made you happy as a teacher. Because if I've learned anything in the past nine years of teaching is that the happy moments are found in those little small moments. And if you can smile and laugh every day with your students, you are years ahead of other people who make teaching look miserable. And I know it can be, I've been there. We've all heard my teacher burnout story and I don't want that for you. So today let's take a few minutes to reflect on my past school year. And then I want to hear all about yours. The first thing that I learned this year, I was so nervous about switching to fifth grade. If you went back and saw any of my old videos about switching from being a kindergarten slash first grade teacher to fifth grade, I was nervous about it. But man alive, has that been the best thing for me? I loved fifth graders. I loved them. And I know I was really lucky this year. I had a great class, but luck can only take you so far. And the one thing I learned is that I always knew about myself is that relationships are number one for me as a classroom teacher. I'm really good at building them because I actually care. Like it's something that's very natural to me because I really care about my students and empathy is the number one thing that I try to convey to them and teach them. And if they show that back to me, then I know I've done my job. And this year I had amazing relationship building with my students. And that was evident as the year progressed, you know, the notes they write you and the things their parents tell you. And it's just such a good feeling to know that you've made a difference. And I'm sure you feel that way too. You wouldn't be watching a video like this if you weren't that kind of teacher as well. So fifth grade, I found my people. I loved it so much. And I am staying in fifth grade this next coming year. And I'm so happy about that. I, people warned me about fifth grade, you know, that they're going to be smelly. They're going to have attitudes. Attitudes and I don't know, I think I hit the jackpot this last year with an amazing group of kids. Okay, second thing I learned, my favorite moments from this year is that I got to be myself. Maybe not always around other teachers because of circumstantial things, but in my classroom with fifth grade, I got to be myself. And one of the best compliments I got this year from one of my students was they told me that I was a realistic teacher. And I'm like, yeah, you know what I am. I'm realistic about the things you guys are going through, your learning style, what's going to work, what's not going to work. And I truly believe, and I would die on this hill, that your students cannot learn well if they do not feel safe and loved at school. And if you put those things in place, you're, they're going to learn anything and they're going to want to learn from you. And I learned that this year, that my students in fifth grade were eager every day to be at school because of feeling safe and loved. And they knew that our classroom was going to be that place for them. So that's one of the biggest lessons I learned is that fifth graders are totally my people and I could be myself. So if you've taught a primary grade and, and like me, I love little kids. I think they're so sweet and cute and I love teaching them how to read and phonics and all of that but they don't always get your sense of humor. And if you're like me too, and you have a sense of humor, then you might want to switch to fifth grade. So let me know in the comments below if you've wanted to switch grades, but you're scared. Let's chat about it. Okay. And I also really, to tether onto that, daily five was great in fifth grade. I didn't know how that was going to work. And I made a daily five fifth grade video earlier this year. Um, so if you have switched grades or you're going to switch grades and you're worried about implementing literacy stations in a daily five way, go back and watch that video. And remember that this summer I'm going to be doing a daily five training. So I'm going to have one for K through two teachers and then one for three through five. And you can get on the wait list now for that. And I will leave the link in the description box below for both trainings. Um, it's already getting pretty full for people that want to join. I'm going to do it in July so that it's not overwhelming for people that go back to school in August like me. And we're going to spend an hour together, uh, me showing you how Daily Five implemented the way I do it can really transform your literacy block and help you be the best teacher you can be during that time. Um, and I can't wait to share that training with you. I'm so excited for you and for me because I, I should just call myself, if I could, the Daily Five teacher because I sing their praises all the time. <laughs> Daily Five, if you're watching this, 
<laughs> you should hire me. <laughs> All right. The last thing that I learned is that the extra moments you put into things, you'll get back. And I had promised my students, um, they were earning positive behavior points in Class Dojo. I didn't do really any negative ones hardly this year just because I didn't need to. My students were intrinsically motivated and extrinsically motivated by the ding of the dojo. And then I would follow through on a reward. And one thing we decided on at the end of the year was to have a camp out. And I mentioned that in my last YouTube video, but since I filmed that one, I I actually did that and special thanks to my husband. So Mike, if you're watching this, I love you so much. You were so helpful. He set up all the tents and he took them all down for me. And my kids had a blast. And um, I, I obviously can't show you um, them in the tents and that sort of thing, but you can see a little bit of the behind the scenes footage of setting them up. And, and Wobie came to school too and <laughs> got to go in and out of the tents before the kids were there. And it was just a great time. I really recommend that having some kind of reward system for your students and following through on it. I thought initially it was gonna be a lot of work. Luckily I had Mike to help me, but it was worth it. They had the best day ever that day and other kids from other classes wanted to join us. And um, that, was, that was cool to see that it was just a fun way to learn, a fun way to spend the day. And you can do it at the end of the year, you know, when you don't have as many things to get through and it's like a celebration. So definitely highly recommend having a camp out in your classroom. So that was my school year in a nutshell, my favorite moments of just really growing as a teacher and having the most amazing students this past year in fifth grade to really teach me that I found my niche, my niche in the classroom. I love fifth grade and I think upper elementary is pretty awesome. And I can say that now that I've been there and I still love having little kindergarten and first grade buddies come visit us. And they're so sweet and cute, but fifth graders are pretty cool too. So let me know what your plans are for next year, what grades you're gonna be teaching in the comments below and share this video with a friend, a teacher friend who had a good year too, or maybe they wanna have a better year next year and they're just looking for some ways to accomplish that. Don't forget to check out the Daily Five training that's gonna be coming up here this summer uh, for K through two and three through five. It'll be linked down below. And thanks so much for being here and I'll see you next time.